So I noticed a guy that was walking down the beach, a young man, probably in his mid to late 20s. He was wearing uh, white shorts and it had a red stripe, which immediately caught my eye. When he got closer, of course, then I noticed he had really curly hair and his left arm was in a sling. It piqued my interest because every time he approached any particular woman or group of two or three women, he was getting turned down and I just kept watching him and he eventually ended up being literally right in front of me and approached a young girl. She was a young, attractive, blonde girl and he asked her words to the effect, uh, I need some help. She's saying, I just got here kind of a thing. So obviously going through her mind is, you know, I'd like to help you out, but you know, I'm here to relax. He kept on and on and on, and he talks her into whatever he talked her into. He said something about a catamaran. And ultimately she gets up reluctantly because she's like head down and I can't believe I'm doing this and then started walking back past me. She had this frown on her face like, you know, I'm helping this guy when I should be just, you know, enjoying myself on the beach. And the end result is she's no longer with us because of her being a nice person. Later on that day, Denise Naslin, she had just gone to the bathroom and she had her boyfriend there along with other people. And why she would just disappear like this and not show up, something was wrong. I was in the shower when he called me. It was the weekend after we'd gone rafting. And so I was mad at him for what he did, although we were starting to talk again. And he was all chipper sounding. He said, you want to go eat something? And I said, OK. I thought it was kind of odd because we still weren't getting along really well. He came right over, and I got dressed, and we went to this bowling alley and ate hamburgers. That's when I noticed that his eyes were really close together. You know, I, his eyes the weekend before had been really weird, and then they were really weird again. And of course, I didn't think anything of it. Then he wanted to go home and sleep because he was feeling sick. And in hindsight, I always thought that was really odd. As with all searches of this kind, the police and the searchers have to contend with the grim idea that there might have been foul play, but there really are no clues, no theories as to the disappearance of the two girls. We recognize the tremendous job that all of the, the police officials have been doing in this area, the search and rescue units, everyone has just been tremendous. But if the addition of, uh, of individuals uh, and private groups, uh, the information that they might be, get, be able to get that would be helpful can help with the return of our daughter, we, we would do anything to facilitate that. She's a beautiful, wonderful girl.